to you to catch up or deal with your inertia. Some friends they come, they go. Some they just might lay low. How come still walking this slow? Look to the past with the coming this slow. I'm living on this road. I feel so ominous though. Red seems blurry, got a color man go when the colors all run and the other man's roll. Look at them now. He don't even no no. Being so loud, feeling so proud, feeling so low. No, if I don't feel it now, I'm gonna feel it when I'm older.
by the reef of misery bite in the lemon and my teeth sink easily pink breeze blood and thick leaves oh i feel so cold when my heart goes strip tease about a 16 try to fix me pull the green screen write a big dream i would dig thing but a big thing for me to deal with war with the realness i need to break i need to fix i need to make the need to make a break from this for winter when they not winter they cannot die but they cannot enter center all of my beliefs and all my rivalries inside which i believe my thigh would die with me side to side let's move side to side on this crowded train all for nine to five how could i try to survive with no incentive said that they'll come in a minute and when we can hear then it's in it rinse and repeat till we finish splendid and you can say different or you could try but you would die like all that looms inside stupid fight from doom and bright well i'm in suicide side to side let's move side to side Side to side, let's move side to side. Side to side, let's move side to side. On this crowd, it's raining off the nine to five. Side to side, let's move side to side. Side to side, let's move side to side. Side to side, let's move side to side. On this crowd, it's raining off the nine to five. Wow, we did that. I love being on time. Truly, the least I could fucking do. Ha, uh, whoops, I forgot. Mm. I forgot how I had this set up. That looks fine to me um so i guess that will be the one okay mm. anyway uh it is nearly the end of the month which means not only is it the end of pride month very sad very unfortunate it is also the end of the time i should have been preparing for maybe i had it bigger that feels right. Um, this is the end of the time where I should have been preparing for Art Fight and then fucking didn't. Um, completely and entirely predictable. Um, I have several characters already up on the webby site. Um, so... So it's not necessarily an issue that what the fuck was I saying? Um That's hot. Um I 
I am once again forgetting what I was fucking saying. That's okay, though. Um, point is, is I don't really need to put any more characters up on the art fight site. However, I am a gay person. So I want to do more. Mainly so I can get rid of the ones that I don't want on the website anymore. Cause either because they're too old or they just suck. Um, I've redone... Uh, Carla. Twice. And I've hated each one. I... E y yes. I guess so. I have more. Um, but the list is scary and long, and I don't want anyone to see it. You're not allowed. That's okay. I think I'm quiet anyway. Um, but yes, we can pick if we so desire, or uh, you give me the gun, and I do it. Um, I. He's already on the site. I guess I could. Fuck, I gotta. I exited out. Because I'm a dumbass. Um. I am as well. And honestly, this was entirely anticipated. Um. This is also fair. Um. Hold. Um, yeah, I guess Dryu is really the only one I'd really be interested in redoing. Really well, Cedric is pretty ass. I actually made him look halfway decent, so I'll add him to the list. Um, hypothetically, I'd like to get all of these done today. Because I have four hours. Um... To do it hypothetically four hours unless i piss off early which there is a shot because i haven't eaten but that's fine uh well we can do hoffs first as a treat um danny is robot skeleton man dryu is his dragon boyfriend link and laser are I don't know what, like, race they are. They're Dungeons and Dragons NPCs, but I don't remember what race. Um, they were, like, elemental or just fucking, I don't know. And then Heath is just a... <laughs> um, I was an average enjoyer of bass players before I knew I was an average enjoyer of bass players. So he's a bass... A bassist I made with my friend years ago. Oh, dick! Yes! I actually... Let me see if I can find it. I was... Te I was teaching, um... Kay how to draw... Fat people... The other day. So I drew... Dry you. I don't- I was like, ha ha, junkie, um, and drew him as a trait. Oh, here it is. Aptly titled Gay People, um, as is the way. I don't know if I want to pull it up. I will. So, th this is him without any clothes on, because I wanted to do the skeleton part. I got really lazy on his hands, but- his face? Okay. Um, and then Dryu is over there. We don't have to look at. We don't have to look at Dryu. Um, but he's really fun because I did intend him to be a robot, but that I don't think that came through, story wise, which is very sad. I believe that is Huff's color. Well, there it is. Okay. Character checklist. Um, 
So, me as well. Okay. I am literally so. Um. No. Danny is orange, you slut. Cowboy orange. Um. So. Uh, oh, that's not me. Um. The update for Cookie Run. It is happening in mere hours. And it is very important to me. I said I was going to talk about it like three streams ago. And I absolutely did not fucking do that. Um, in anticipated action. Um, because I'm very good at keeping to my topics. But today, today I will. Because I have several in my uh, notes, I guess. Um, that I am very excited about for literally no fucking reason. Um, so first of all, Lilac Cookie is being added to Cookie Run, which is literally the hottest shit you could ever do, ever. They did a, like, poll kind of thing, where, um, you sort of got to pick what was up, like, what character you wanted in the game, and the options were Lilac, Artichoke, Pumpkin... And there was a fourth one, but apparently they were so insigni insignificant that I just didn't care. Um, cause, um, Artichoke? I was blinded by love. Um, Artichoke, my beloved. Pumpkin Cookie fucking sucks and no one likes Pumpkin Cookie at all. And I'm pretty sure they lost the hardest Pumpkin Cookie did. Cause Pumpkin Cookie was a part of the, um, ew, why is it, why, how are you that small? Um, because Pumpkin Cookie was a part of the, um, mining event, which I fucking hated, um, lest we forget. Um, so that's that on that. Artichoke Cookie was a part of one of the guild events. Um, it was when Mango was introduced. He was just like a side character. He was on screen for maybe 10 seconds, and I was like, yes, yes, artichoke cookie, yes. Because he's very small and drums as well. Um, ugh. He's also ocean E, which is another, like, giant plus for me. Um, and then lilac cookie is yogurt cream's, like, servant man guy thing. Um, which is really funny. But everybody really, really, really liked Lilac, so it was essentially, like, a given that Lilac was gonna be winning on that one. I, I, I expected nothing less. Um, to my own personal disappointment on the lack of artichoke that I will be receiving, this is a, this is a noble sacrifice. Um, especially considering it's, um, bringing Yogurka back in some shape or form. And I, I loved Yogurka so much. Fuck Sugar Tierra. Literally nobody likes Sugar Tierra. That's a lie. A lot of people did. But, um, I, no. Mm -mm. I can't stand Sugar Tierra. Like, you'd think I'd like it because it's like ocean-y. But it sucks. The only good area in Sugar Tierra was the second one and it's because it's about as oceany it's it's the vibe that i like um but the rest of it is like deep ocean shit and that's kind of that's not the same vibe i'm an average enjoyer of um which is fine i guess um But, okay. They're also getting rid of all of the breakouts that already exist. Um, 
and they're replacing them with old ones, which super, it blows. It sucks. Um, because I'm gonna be bored replaying the same old shit. Like, I've been playing those arenas for years, and they finally got rid of Escape from the Oven, and I was like, F thank god. Because I was so tired of playing it, I didn't care about it anymore. Um... So I was glad to see her die. Um, and now they're putting it back. Um, and it's for, it's, I, I, I assume they're going to replace it eventually. But one more play. I, I don't think I could, I could stand it. I, I, I truly don't think I could. Um... But, uh, I did interesting poses for literally everybody else. Fine. Um. So. I'm very excited. I will be playing on stream tomorrow. No, you do not get a choice. Um, luckily it'll probably go pretty short because Cookie Ren tends to. Um, because it's not a particularly interesting game. Well, I like it and can play it for hours on end, but I can't be entertaining playing Cookie Ren for hours on end. So that would make things difficult, to be honest. Um... Which is fine. Um, because I do, I do want to play more Kirby's Epic Yarn. It is, it is a very important game. Um, and I don't want to say we're rapidly approaching the finish, but I honestly could have finished it, like, day one, if I truly wanted to. Um, but that is neither here nor there. Um, speaking of i need to get everybody's opinions on sundays sunday streams um because my sister had a good idea where she um comes on every sunday and we play a game together um which I think is very fun, sexy, and cool of us to do. Um, it also makes Sundays less disastrous for me because we'd have something planned. Um, and I love that. I love knowing what the fuck I'm going to be doing. Because as always, this past Sunday was in fact a fucking nightmare. A fun nightmare, but a nightmare nonetheless. <laughs> um... Near the end there, it was a little rough, but that's okay. That was mostly me trying not to be bored the rest of the day. Um, another anticipated action. Um, but it'd probably just be like... Um, she really likes horror games, so it'd probably be a lot of horror games. Um... Which is good, because I am fucking hilarious while playing those. Um, we'll probably just fuck around on Itch.io. And have her watch on a Discord call. Despite being in the same fucking house. But that's what she said she would prefer doing, so I'm not one to argue. Um. So... That is something to look forward to in the future, which is so hot. I have been trying for literal years, decades even, to get her to play video games with me. And it is now, finally, my time after however many years she's been alive. And honestly, a huge win for me. Um... Mm. 
Do I really want to commit to this hand right now? Not really. We'll come back. Um, what else do I have on my list to talk about? Cause I I put I put a lot of shit on here, and a couple of them I was supposed to talk about a couple streams ago. Um, because I. There was no one here. So I ended up ending early. My uh, numbers took a massive hit, which sucks really hard. I was at a steady 3.3 .3 average viewers for a while, and then I took a nosedive. I. And this one will definitely dip, like, push me back under 3, which really sucks. But I believe in us. We will get it back together. We are all in this together. I don't know the next lyric, unfortunately. But that's fine. If nothing else works. Um. Okay. I've got it. I want to talk about that. I just talked about that. No. No. Um, yeah, okay. Um, Jaden Smith came out with a single, I guess, um, recently, and I don't, I don't normally, I, I, I listen to his new stuff. I don't really understand what's going on, to be honest. Um, like, yeah. He gives me a song, I listen to it. And I'm typically an average enjoyer. Um, however, a lot of people on Jaden Stan Twitter, which I do keep a generally close eye on because I think it's funny, um, uh, there is some hypothetical, there's like some speculation, I guess. Um, that um he's gonna release an album in july if i recall correctly like mid to late july um but of course this is speculation and i should not trust um the internet's word um but she's a lot more the person i follow is a lot more committed to to this than i am um I'm just here to listen to good song. And the new single, um, I can't put her down. I really, really like the new single. Um, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's pretty, and I like it. Um, it has the, I don't want to say similar vibe to, well, same. I don't want to say same. It has a similar vibe to um, the Al uh, Cool Cool Tapes version three, I believe, was the is the newest album, which came out at the tail end of August of last year, um, and I was so fucking excited for that album. Um, I like got up that morning and I was like. <gasps> it's Jade's birthday. <laughs> um, so I hopped on, you know, and listened to the entire album cover to cover. Um, and it did take me a couple of listens, because it, I don't want to say it's not like anything he's ever made before, because he's probably made something similar in the past. Um, but it definitely didn't have the vibe I was anticipating, necessarily. Um, cause Sire and... Eris? Eris will go. Um, they had very distinct, stylistic, like, things going on. Um, 
and they were almost like the opposite of each other so I wasn't really sure what to expect um I also really really liked Cabin Fever which was released before the album dropped and Rainbow Bap Bop Bap probably um because it's an A but that song was also released as a single before Cool Tapes version 3 was released. Um, so it was... Um, Rainbow Pop wasn't as good as Cabin Fever was. I like it a lot now. But it, the first time I listened to it, I it, it had the vibe of the album. Um, whereas Cabin Fever is definitely something that's like more actively Jaden. It's a lot less experimental. I don't want to call the album experimental. That feels incorrect and wrong. Um, because it wasn't really. It's, it's not like anything particularly interesting. However, um... It was a sound he hadn't, like, used before? I don't know. I I talk about music often. I never know what I'm talking about. Literally ever. I don't even know why I bother half the time. Um. But, yeah. I'm, if, okay. Because he typically comes out with deluxe albums. So that's kind of what this next hypothetical album would be would be a deluxe cool tapes version three which would be so sexy fun and cool um i literally i cool tapes version three was the album um and it did take me a few listens to um see the appeal but man once i was in it uh, that was the only album I listened to for months. Um, and now, because of the new single, that's all I listen to now as well. Um, so good for her. Uh, making a, a nice comeback um, for the summer, which is very sexy. Thank you, Cool Tapes version 3. Um, I hope the people on Twitter are right, though. I'm starved for more music. Um... Because I've started regressing. Um, and I've started listening to shit I used to listen to in fucking middle school. And it wasn't, it's not like, I still like it. Um, but it's definitely not anything I, it, it's, it's a completely separate genre to what I normally listen to. Like, it's not like R&B or rap or anything, which is typically what I've got going on. Um, yeah, it's, it's something different I, w I was gonna say new that would be completely inaccurate um because if anything it is fucking old um it's very 2012 if i may um because the band i have rediscovered i guess um was very popular back when i was in middle school because they had just come out with a new album and one of the songs was on the radio all the time. Like, that was all anybody put on, was the one song. And honestly, not even the best song on the album. That happens a lot, I've noticed, where the song that would be most, like, digestible to the public is the one that gets on the radio and then all the other songs are just kind of like ignored um which kind of sucks because there there were some really fun songs on that album um and what's funny is i was i'm not even listening to that album i'm listening to their really old shit like their first studio album and whatever um I made him really tall. I don't remember him being this tall. 
but whatever i'm not like particularly upset um but yeah i have since i'm not listening to anything particularly interesting i i would deeply enjoy another album from anyone really um i do like new music from my beloveds um i've essentially quit on frank ocean he hasn't come out with anything new in like two years and it wasn't even an album i think dhl and in my room came out in 2019 i can't currently recall um but i didn't even like those songs at the time of their release which was really upsetting for me because frank ocean had hit every single time up until the release of those two songs and now i listen to them often um i'm really good at changing my mind on music um which i think is funny um i mean in it's normally like a stylistic thing like if i don't if i ex expect a certain style from an artist um and get handed something else i get mad and i don't like it at first but once i give it a few more listens i'm like okay i may have a little bit of this song as a treat i guess um because i've done that with frank ocean i've done that with jaden smith as i talked about earlier um and i actually might have done it with the script which is a with, which is the band from middle school that i was talking about earlier um because they came out with a new album back in 2019 18 i don't remember um but they came out with an album then and i listened to maybe one song got pissed that it didn't sound the same um and didn't listen to the rest of the album like i didn't give them much of a shot because i was already moving on in terms of music taste anyway um by the time that album came out i was like mm, i'm gonna have to pass on this um and just, just never ended up listening to it again um they've actually released another new album since that one so now they should have Their first one, Science and Faith. Number three, I believe. Or something along those lines. And then. No Sign Without Silence. And then the shitty one that I didn't listen to. So then they've got a sixth one. Damn. Good for them. Look at them go. Um, they have a sixth one. out and about which i uh haven't listened to um because i haven't um mm, <sighs> which i haven't listened to because i haven't even listened to the one that i refuse to listen to yet um so i figure i listen to the the one i refuse to first um, see if I actually like it, and then give the, the newest one a shot. Um, I don't know how soon I'm willing to do that, though. Because that's the new music I'm asking for, arguably. Um, it's just not the vibe I was looking for, I guess. Because now my YouTube recommended is, like, demolished. Chuck full of um a bunch of shit with the script from the script um which is fine i like the script um
but I've only really given a shit about certain songs from there from from them um like I don't want to listen to their fourth album right now like I did really like it when it came out but it doesn't it doesn't vibe with me as much as it did once because it did have a tonal a, a style shift like it still had the flair um that the first three did um but it it definitely was it had like a more um they, they were definitely evolving into something more modern um at that time like something more pop esque and i wasn't really interested in that um so when they came out with their fourth album which was like the the pinnacle of the shift um in style i was not pleased <laughs> arguably um Okay, hand. Go the fuck off. I literally love drawing hands. I know everybody hates it, but... Feet can fuck right off. Like, these are nice because I didn't have to draw any toes. But fucking toes? I can't do toes to save my life. Um, no matter how much money someone could pay me, they would just not look very good. I'd try my hardest. Especially for a fee. But it just does I don't it's I don't draw toes often enough. I'd have to become a toe artist for me to gain that kind of skill and knowledge. Um And I just don't know how interested I would be in doing that. <laughs> okay. The, it's allowed to be flat. Thank you. Um. Hmm. I really dis. I really said let's. Um. Detail out his arms as if. I am going to sh be able to show them. I do that a lot. Um. Like this area. His hips or whatever. Um, detailed that out literally doesn't matter anymore and I did really like the way that it looked which kind of sucks um, and I also liked the curve of his arm Ugh. I'm so mean to myself I can't believe I would do that this one kind of gets a, a pass though Sometimes I wonder if I was a different person at the time, well not different, but like older maybe, a different person at the time of creating half of these characters, who they'd be. Because a lot of the time, they're very, hmm, I don't know. reflections I suppose of the person I was at the time so characters often are
We'll see about that. Okay. I need to fix his hair. I don't... It changes every fucking time I draw him. It is freezing in here. Normally it's hot, but the air conditioning is blowing directly where I'm sitting, which normally I would really like, except it's very cold for some reason today specifically. Kind of not sexy at all, if I may. He has a long face, if I recall correctly. He might be one of the only characters I've ever drawn consistently. Like, he looks the same every single time. Um. Like, ev every other character I've ever owned. Or loved. Has been... Well, that's a lie. Hoffs doesn't look the same sometimes. That's okay, though. Sign of the times. I, yesterday, I was sitting around. Despite having plenty to do, I didn't feel like doing fucking any of it. So instead, I sat on a typing website and practiced typing. Why, you ask? I don't know. Nothing other than a stupid fucking racing game where the faster you type, the faster your car goes. And I'm like, well, sign me the fuck up. Obviously, I'm going to do nothing but win. I'm so good at video games, after all. Um, I'm actually kind of shit now because of the level that I'm on. The level that I'm on, everybody is like one thousand billion words per minute or whatever um and i can hit like 80 in a good um in a good race um and i mean like i i've hit 112 words per minute before but with well with easy shit like if you sit me down in front of a sentence and it's like a really simple sentence like no punctuation no capitalization i can get it down in mere seconds um but once you start adding punctuation to the mix that's when i start to have issues i also don't use the form you're supposed to like you know the home row bullshit i stopped doing that um and i tried to reteach it to myself earlier it just not was not fucking vibing with me um i feel like also the added pressure of needing to go fast because it's a racing game um doesn't help me very much but there is simply no shame in this i will climb the ranks Someday, if it fucking kills me. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I wanted to add Stardew Valley music onto my stream playlist. I forgot I could do that. I do really like Stardew Valley music. I forgot that video game music is like a valid thing I can use on stream. Like that just slipped my mind. I don't know why. Um, but I, this is within my power and rights under the bounds of law, which is very sexy. I love having rights. Okay, his head needs to be sure. It was long, but not that long. That feels better. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This song makes me unbelievably sad because of the part of the podcast it's in. I will be right back. Hopefully I'll remember what I was going to say. I came back with something cozier, because it's fucking gold. <laughs> um, I did in fact forget what I was going to say, which was probably the most expected thing to possibly happen. I also got tired of my bangs, because fuck, fuck my bangs, I, they're too long now. Um. So they fucking get up in my business. <sighs> Which I liked for maybe two weeks. Oh, thank you. No, yeah. Um. No. Well, hold on. I forget to flip my canvas a lot. Like, 
often. Like, I just don't do it. And I know it's, like, the, the, the biggest... Like, you need to. Otherwise, your, your stuff's gonna look like ass every single time without fail. Um... But god. Will I remember? I absolutely will fucking not. Um, and I cannot stress this to you enough. And I... I find myself not ashamed in this. Um, it's definitely a... A personal issue considering that I absolutely fucking refuse to take advice from anyone for many many years um, not that I ever received any but had I received any I would probably have gotten really defensive um, and angry as is the way Ugh, I forgot how much I hate drawing right now. I can't fucking stand it. It sucks. I'm probably gonna get this done and I'm probably gonna quit. I can't do this anymore. <sighs> it's gone, you know, halfway decent. Up until my... Mm, lack of desire to do fucking anything. stuff on my list hold on since I've passed away again okay I was gonna talk about aliens which I think is a neat fun sexy thing to talk about um I was definitely hoping to arise debate but there's not very many people here so I will simply debate with myself there's no shame in this um so I was watching um, one of my favorite streamer men, Oli Moly, um, play Mass Effect. Or, no. Who was it? Scottathan, sorry. Oli Moly played Mass Effect a few weeks ago. Um my bad so i accidentally started associating him with the game that was on me um so we were i was watching him well, he was in chat but that's neither here nor there um i was watching skeleton play um mass effect and the the alien designs in that game are neat i think um, cause there's a lot of flavor, and I mean, there's still a lot of them that like look like human people, but Rex is really fucked up. Like he's a funky guy. Um, and then the fucking robots or whatever that I don't remember the name of. Um. Turians are also really sexy. Um, 
Of course, that's all in the face, though, Turians. Um, the other, uh, like, um... Body-wise, they're still pretty humanoid, but that's fine. Um, I, I, the point is, is that they're, they're, the designs are still fine, despite the, um, human qualities that most of them have. Um. But, uh, I, so I was watching the stream or whatever, and I got to thinking about how most, um, aliens are portrayed as um one like one group um but when you think of people there's a lot of like subgroups of people like we have different races we have um different countries we have different cultures um, so all, out of every single, like, um, planet, hypothetically, that has ever been invented in a sci-fi piece of media, we've never considered that aliens might be the same way. Uh, not as far as I've seen, at least. Because a lot of alien medias are like, okay, here's an alien, they all look exactly the same, and they all think the same, and they all have the same opinions. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so I got to thinking about how aliens aren't really culturally diverse amongst themselves. Like, sure, there's probably a lot of cool examples of different alien cultures but I haven't really seen very many that are diverse within their own species which I think is a fun cool thing to consider because it's either so it's either that or humans are unique in that way where we're culturally diverse um, and we're the only planet who does that or, um, we just don't see that side of things. Or we haven't considered it before. I think it is an interesting thing to consider. And I should like to think about it, I think. Um, because I do think it gives a lot of opportunity for interesting, um, sci-fi stories. Because if humans had a civil war, okay, let's say, for the sake of debate, um, there is a civil war going on in England. I don't know. We'll go England. Um, and... We, um, in America, decides to get involved, as America often does. Um, despite it being a civil war, shut the fuck up and leave them alone. Um, we, so America gets involved in Britain's civil war, for example. Um, it could be cool... Because cause we... Okay, America has that tendency. So if we took that same approach, but made it planets and, like, species instead, where one planet was having a civil war between two groups of people on the planet, and then Earth, or another planet, whatever, um, fucks around and finds out and tries to dabble, I guess in the Civil War. I don't know, I just think that's interesting. Because there's a lot of things 
that don't really get considered in alien medias. I don't think. Um, and I would like to see more cool stuff like that. Because there, there's culture is such a cool thing. Um, and seeing more than one culture in aliens, another really cool thing. Damn, a missed opportunity. Um, also, this hand fucks. I am literally the greatest artist of all fucking time. Don't worry. I. Oh my god, it is. Mm. I can't miss. I cannot fucking miss. Um. This wasn't where really what I wanted it to look like, but there is no fucking shame in this. It looks good just despite my intentions. Um. But, yeah. I... Aliens. Fun, sexy, cool. Um... I guess I'm done talking about that. <laughs> I... I run out of topics very fast when there's not anybody... Because I devolve into, oh, I'm by myself, time to sit here. Well, that's a lie. I'm just tired. Which often happens, I think. forgot one of my topics was the, the live action Snow White movie which I'm very upset about um for what literally for fucking what I now I can't say that I have been a fan of the fact that they're making live action versions. In fact, I have been the opposite of a fan. If anything, I hate them. Um, of course, this will not stop me from watching 99% of them to see if they're a fucking train wreck or not. I, and I'm, I don't wanna like pinpoint this phenomena anywhere, but I do think it was the Maleficent movie. Because that movie was technically a live-action remake of... Sleeping Beauty. Holy shit. Um, that is where I remember that this all starting from. And I went to see Maleficent in theaters. And I really fucking liked it. I was like, oh shit. That was a really cool movie. Because it was... It was... It wasn't necessarily a remake per se. It was more like a retelling. Um, a different version of the story. Because... Um, folktales do that a lot. Where it's like, oh, here's this version of the story that's... Um, you know, slightly different than the original. Here's It's like kind of like our take or whatever. Um, and those are cool. Like... I, I don't mind seeing different takes on different fairy tales because that's interesting and cool. Um, but we've instead devolved into direct remakes of animated movies because I would argue that Maleficent was not bad. 
However, that does seem to be where it all began, was with Maleficent. Um, which sucks, because that was n clearly not the intention of the movie. Cinderella um, was where we start getting into, here's a live action version of the movie, here you go. I don't remember any, well, that movie was just generally forgettable. I don't remember the movie being particularly interesting in any way. Um, which might be why, um, but that one is, that one didn't put any cool spins on it, that one was just the movie for the sake of the movie, um, and so was Beauty and the Beast, Beauty and the Beast didn't have anything cool either, it was just live action, um, and that's, so that's sort of the transition point, um, was between Maleficent, Cinderella, and then Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast was probably the big one. Um, where we started paying attention to live action movies and where success could be gained, I guess. Um, because arguably live action movies can be pretty successful because Beauty and the Beast the live action version was a very pretty movie um and movies as they are very visual do tend to catch people's eyes when they are pretty movies um so um live action specifically a lot of adults i've noticed tend to avoid watching animated movies at least the adults that i am aware of well maybe not adults Adults seem to be okay, but some people in my, some some of my peers have been weirdly anti um, animated movie, which I don't really understand. But I digress. Um, as I am a very large advocate for animated movies because it is it's such a it's a lovely medium. Um, cause it's, I don't know, there's so much stuff you can't do without the help of animation somehow in terms of live action. So trying to, um, like the, um, furniture characters in Beauty and the Beast. Those are technically animated, but they're, due to their photorealism, they're a lot less fun. Um, in the live action Lion King, those characters were a lot less expressive because they needed to, um, I don't know what I'm what, what what word I'm looking for, but they since it's live action they needed to keep within the realms of reality, um, despite animating the entire fucking movie, practically. It's not like they got lion actors for God's sake, um. But the so that's the problem. Is it's just taking the movie. And making it shittier. Um, because of the interesting medium that animation can be, the, the diversity, um, the malleability. There's so many reasons to argue that live action remakes are dumb and I fucking hate them. Um... And so Snow White makes me upset on like a brand new level um, because of its history and impact as, guess what, an animated movie. Because it was the first feature length animated, like full color feature length animated movie ever. Literally fucking ever. And you're making... 
a live action version of it? Why? Why? Fucking unfathomably bad. I. It's just so. I don't know. I don't like Disney. Walt Disney was a shitty person. I watched a lot. Yes, I'm still watching. Slut. Um, I watched a lot of stuff about him for my animation history class. So I learned quite a bit. He was a garbage human being. Racist. Um, all around bad dude. Um, not cool to his kids, etc., etc. Um, just not a fresh dude. But his, the stuff he created impacted, whoops, uh, no starman, thank you, um, impacted media as we know it today. And, I, there, like, there's no, there's no going around that, because without full, the first full-length animated movie ever, we wouldn't have 3D animated movies either. Um, would we really have CGI? Like, there's so many things directly correlated to that choice, that project of his. Um... Could, like, how do we know that we would, we would have that still? Um, and I, again, definitely feel scummy to be saying that considering all of the, um, bullshit he's done. Um, but, oh, did Hops get a fucking haircut? I can't say that I'm a fan. I don't like the haircut. But yeah. Point is, is that live action remakes haven't been good, they've just been money grabs. And the fact that they're defiling the fucking original animated movie. Like, deadass, the original animated movie. Are you fu- You're serious. Like, th we're doing this. Fucking despicable. It- it pisses me off so fucking bad. <sighs> okay, what else is on my list? I wrote hot gog, but I can't remember what specifically I was going to say, which is unfortunate. I can't ever get his hair right. I'll have to see if I have another one. My unfortunate own cookie image. I think I had, should have it low render. Cause I know I colored him once. Nothing crazy. It certainly was lowly rendered. There he is. Slut, get back here. I don't think I gave him enough ass credit. Definitely not. I will need to fix that. Okay, so it's all like one way. Also, have, he also has gauges. I don't know why I did that. That's not his vibe at all. Oh, but I guess he's like a fucking flower, so. 
This is a really cute picture. Ew. Yeah, I fucking hate this. No. Art hard. I didn't expect to hate it so much so fast. I mean, it's been an hour. But I didn't expect my hatred of it to be so abrupt, let's say. I can get it back out, but I don't want to. I don't think this is happening. I mean... I meant, like, the stream continuing. Um... I definitely don't feel like talking to anyone. Uh... Uh-uh. Nobody's here anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Tomorrow, cookie run. Um, and then after I'm done playing the cookie run update, I'm gonna try really hard to hold off on playing until tomorrow. Um, because it does come out tonight and I'm really excited about it. So I, you know, I really wanna get in it. Um, but I. I'll refrain. I will do my best to refrain. Um, Alright, well, I'll see everyone on the other side. Hopefully I'll have better luck on an art stream once we start doing... Um, art fight, which should be... On shit. Will it be on Thursday? We will fuck around and find out. Hold on. That's the calculator, not the calendar, you dumb ass. Dumb of ass. Yeah. The first is Thursday. So that works out perfectly. So the first of July is the first of Art Fight, which means that it will be um, Art Fight stream number one. We're going to do that the whole month. So that it's so no Twitter polls. I'll write that down in my description and I will repeat it again for people who missed that. So I will see everyone on the other side.